uh, it is another day that God has granted us uh, that we may empower more youths. I remember this is the youth road show. It has been a long time, by the way, I've missed you. You can't even explain how I missed you, but we are still here on this best youth platform, the platform that is ever empowering youth. Remember, you can follow me on YouTube, it is Sakuito, Twitter, it was full of underscore Twitter, or Facebook also, Sakuito, there is your conversations flow. Remember, this is a, a platform where we bring youths that can empower other youths, bring people that can empower youths just uh, for uh, a better uh, to more. And today we are much privileged to have uh, one of us, a student at Mount Kenya University, I'll say he's the head of the picture of the Mount Kenya University students. We were with him a few years ago when he was aspiring to be uh, the Secretary General of the uh, Mount Kenya University, but he never made it to, due to qualifications. But one year later, he qualified being the president and God granted him the required peace or the required masses and finally he emerged the winner. We are with uh, Sanju Ken. Welcome so much sir. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very much humbled by the to host you once again now as the president. Thank you. Now not as an aspirant. <laughs> yeah. Welcome so much to the broadcast. There are somebody, there is a person outside there who is watching SK for the first time. So who is Sanju Ken? Thank you. Thank you very much Guto for having me once again. I'm privileged to be here. So um, Sanju Ken, Kajuang. The Astrid President of Mount Kenya University Student Association and also the President of Kiambu University Student Association. I'm also the President of the Governing Council. That, that means that I'm the President of both the interior and exterior of Mount Kenya University Student Association. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. There are a lot of uh, uh, leadership titles that you mentioned. I know this thing doesn't start one, uh, just come from anywhere, then you become a leader. Maybe uh, let me now focus on being the president of the Mount Kenya University. So, when did you start dreaming of it, or it just came from nowhere, then you thought of being how was it you reached and saw that it was good for you to ask as the president? Okay, thank you. That's a good question. You know, leadership is not for the faint-hearted. Yes. I can say on political basis and terms, mm -hmm. I strongly had a passion of running for office mm -hmm. in Mount Kenya University. And when I was placed here by Coops, mm -hmm. I said, now this is my noble chance to venture and follow my passion and my career of politics because I knew that I'm politically oriented and intellectual-wise, I knew very well mm -hmm. that I can make a good lead of serving the people. And therefore, when I came here, you remember very well, uh, Quinto, that I ventured to vibe as a mere first year. But I used to tell the people that do not be hypnotized by noise that people are making outside or things that people might say about you. And I say that I am going to run for Secretary General that time, or well, first year. And, but due to qualifications that I did not meet, which are very well stipulated in our constitution, I deferred my political aspirancy that time, and I came again early this year, where I tussled fiercely my friends, who also ventured themselves to vote, and I got more than half of the votes which were cast. Yes, so my, my political journey actually began before I joined MKU because I was a leader even before I joined here. So I was just following my path of, uh, and, and career of my, of my politics and ensuring that I streamline my political career for the future. Mm -hmm. So are leaders made or leaders are born? Leaders are not born. Mm -hmm. Leaders are made. Mm -hmm. Just like Martin Luther King Jr. and Nelson Mandela, these are people who fought against anti-lynching laws against their countrymen and women. Mm -hmm. So I think it, was, it will not be fortunate enough for me to say that leaders are poor, because leaders are made. And how, how are leaders made? Leaders are made by circumstances and situations that they face in life. Mm -hmm. And in that regard, when people realize that there is a certain uh, loophole, a certain gap in leadership, 
That is where now these people come to provide solutions because I believe leaders should not be seekers of consensus but builders. And therefore, when you come to, to build consensus for your people, that is where now you will be ready to dispense service and leadership to, you, to, to the constituents or rather the people that you serve. Mm -hmm. So circumstances make up leaders. Yes. Oh, at uh, high school, did you have any leadership position at the secondary level or at primary level or before joining to the university? Yes, of course. You know, there is some, there is some contradiction that people don't know. Leadership is not about position. Leadership is about capacity building and advocacy. And therefore, when I was in high school, I was a great and passionate advocate of the rights of the people. And that is where the journey started. I used to advocate so much. When things could go wrong, people could come and tell me what are the solutions that we can provide to ensure that we can curb this kind of an aggression. And therefore, it started way back. Even in primary school, I remember I was a, I was a, a class rep then. Class rep then. A very powerful class rep. It's only that I finished school too young. I could not become the, the head boy then because I was young. I was one of the youngest uh, students in primary school, but I was very intelligent enough that people could come and seek advices from me. Mm -hmm. So leadership started way back. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it started, it never started at the Mount Kenya University? No. Now let's switch gears now to the institution. You are now at the helm. I can say you are the helm of the students at Mount Kenya University. You are there. Maybe generally, how is the university? University is good. You know, it is very pertinent also to Mount uh. that all the status conferred to me as president, leading over 50,000 comrades, mm -hmm. Mount Kenya University, and leading over over a half a million comrades in the Ambu. And I know that I'm leading other comrades in the nation who are my friends, or either amicus of, of my comrades, whom I'm leading as their, as, their, as their steward or as their leader. They seek advices for me. And therefore, this position has been adduced contemporaneously with my virtues, with my values as president of MKU. And sometimes I hear and I get encouraged, and, 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 and this passion keeps enkindling in my heart that some people, even in Rio, NKU, Kibabi, other, other universities are saying that we have the best president in the country, the best university president for that matter mm -hmm. in the country coming from NKU mm -hmm. because of the actions which are speaking louder than words. Mm -hmm. You see, service is about evaluation basis on what you have done from time to time. Mm -hmm. So I've believed in my capacities of value and uh, the dispensing service to them. Be just a number of things that, or what are these things that uh, the university will keep remembering that it is SK who was the pioneer of this particular thing? Very, very, very interesting question. As I've said, that action speaks louder than words. Yes. When I came, when I came first time, when I was sworn in, mm -hmm. you know that remarkable speech that I made during yes. my inauguration that I defend the rights of the people. Yes. And therefore, in my tenure as president, I know that I have done a number of things which have been blueprinted in the history of Mount Kenya University Student Association, mm -hmm. which shall be remembered. Which shall be remembered from time to time. Mm -hmm. Number one is just like Martin Luther King Jr., who fought tirelessly to ensure that there is emancipation and repeal and amendment of the oppressive laws in the United States of America which he called them the rights of the Negroes. You remember that time that the black people, the colored people were not allowed to drive buses. It's only the whites who have conferred that status of driving the blacks. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when I came in, there were some anti-lynching laws that I said that I must put my hand to the paper and change some things. There were some oppressive laws and, 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 and guidelines in the student's handbook, that now it is on, it is ongoing. And that is what I realized, that some people were sent home because of the existing, the, the, the laws that have been existing since time. And I said that it is now time to bring an emancipation of these oppressive laws. It will now be a bygone, it will now be a bygone, that such people will not be sent home 
on some servicing laws that do not withhold water. They are not water type to justify the conviction. And therefore, that is number one. Number one thing that I, should, I will always be remembered for. Number one thing, amendment of the student's handbook. Number two, I brought an initiative, first time initiative in the history of MKU from scratch, without a budget. Mm -hmm. I did Mukusa Awards. Yes. Last semester. I did Mukusa Awards last semester. Mm -hmm. It costed me around three hundred thousand to do that to do that event because I realized the basis of my election mm -hmm. was to ensure that I provide a sustainable environment for academic excellence. Mm -hmm. That was my due conviction of my election. And when I was telling people that time when I was campaigning that I'm a man on a mission to fight for your vision. So many people thought that that is a job. But I knew very well inside my heart, I have the values and service to the people in my heart. And therefore, I have done a number of things, among other things that shall always be remembered. You know, most comrades will not see things that we do as a student association. But in our hearts, and in our actions, in our physicality, in our stature, we know what we do. Yes. Just to ensure that sustainability is maintained, mm -hmm. favorability for academic excellence is brought forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There are, I'm sure there are, the, the university, you cannot say it is at 100%. There are still some things, I'm sure, for this period remaining around, uh, I don't know how many months uh, remaining. Mm -hmm. Two, three months. Yes. There are those projects that you have that you 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 ought to do before now the tenure of, of the, the, this regime. So, what are uh, just a number of uh, those projects or those uh, manifestos that you've not yet uh, uh, you've not yet met? I will say that without travesty, but with a lot of perspicacity, leadership is not an event. Yes. Leadership is a process. It's a progressive process that will always be built from time to time. So, in that one year, I can say I'm among those presidents who have done to the best of my abilities. That I know, that I know. It is very well, it is very well noted because it is on the blueprint, it is on the wall with big letters. With big letters. It is there. Numerically, the numerical standards have proven. They have proven. that have at least proven a point that leadership is always possible. Leadership is always possible. And therefore, there are a number of projects that are remaining. As I've told you last time, that I like giving young people a platform because young people only need platform. Yes. When you give a young person a platform, a man with a vision will be able to actualize that vision objectively and be able to realize his potential. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I believe in giving young people a platform to showcase what they have, then the outside world will be able to see. That is why you have seen a number of comrades, young people have risen to the top, have staircased, mm -hmm. and have risen above their standards just because of the platform. A platform is very important. That is why I've always emphasized on building capacity for the young people because it is always possi possible with a commitment and a determined heart. Mm -hmm. So there is this talent show. I talked with the manager of Royal Media Services and he tendered that he will be supporting more than five comrades from MKU to rise to the top level. And that is my that has always been my desire and I've, I've never been happy there before than when I became president because I knew that I'm going to fulfill the destinies of young people. Sir, so before get, getting into the office, I'm sure you had manifesto. So out of 100%, uh, at what percent are you? Even, even, even on the subsect of uh, the national government, <laughs> you know, everything must be scientifically proven. Yes. So we don't, we don't, as politicians, we don't <laughs> base these things on, 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 on apocryphal, yes. just theories. Mm -hmm. So I think that is a substandard. Mm -hmm. Scientific theories have to be applied for, for that to be proven mm -hmm. on how, how much percentage I've achieved. And that can only be done by comrades mm -hmm. because they are, my, they are my constituents. They are the people that I serve. Mm -hmm. So upon my exit mm -hmm. of office, that is when now that scientific 
terms will be evaluated to see how much I have, I have achieved as president of MKU 2022-2023. I'm sure there is no journey that lacks challenges. So you face challenges. So uh, maybe the challenges you face, so the people who face challenge out here, but they wonder how to get out of the challenge. Maybe how have you been making it like, what are some of challenges and how, how have you been making it to endure? It is, very, it is very true that there will always be conundrum of challenges. But as a leader, how do you aggrandize that? Mm -hmm. To ensure that you integrate the, the, the current situations, the circumstances that you're facing, you integrate it to betterment. Mm -hmm. That is how we focus as leaders. That is how we focus as leaders. Because I, I am not an intellectual dwarf. I know very well what I do. Mm -hmm. My concentration is always at optimum. Mm -hmm. So actually, I usually aggrandize all circumstances that I face mm -hmm. with possible solutions. Mm -hmm. Number one is the issue of finances. Mm -hmm. Even the national government has never had enough finances to finance the projects. Mm -hmm. Even here in the subset, because there is no leadership which is little. You cannot be little a leader on the basis of capacity that he holds. Mm -hmm. So number one is finances. And that is not, not the thing that we always uh, tussle with from time to time. But you're going to sit down and realize that serving the people cannot be an abnegation of financial basis. You can always serve from where you are, whether you have money or not. Number two is the oppressive rule principle. Oppressive rule principle. There will always be criticism. If it was not for SK Kajua who has done that and that, then it will not be X, Y, Z. There will always be criticism. Even when some people don't have the value, don't have the stage, don't have the platform, don't have a watertight justification to criticize, they will always do that. And even some of them, I, I like them so much because they are my political ally and friends. Mm -hmm. But I usually advise them that there are people who are very serious in building leadership for themselves and for the generations to come. And these are the people who should be empowered, not people who are keyboard warriors, that the only thing they know is uh, politicking and criticizing on WhatsApp groups and other social media platforms. Clueless individuals. They have not read the policy, they don't know the law, they have not read the, the student constitution and they aspire to be leaders. That is like forcing a rat to a cliff. It will always fall to the cliff. It is very simple. It doesn't require any Chinese arithmetic to prove that. No algorithms at all. So I just advise these young people to build capacity for leadership. To stop criticizing from side shows and making some, 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 some political side corridors. Mm -hmm. Nothing in the university like political side corridors. You saw how I took office with only three delegates and I emerged the winner because I had a vision in my heart. Mm -hmm. You know you are dealing with intellectuals. Yes. You are dealing with intellectuals whose comprehension capabilities, capabilities are always at optimum. So there is no way you can neutralize and bring apocryphal, fallacious information to these people. They know what they are doing. Mm -hmm. You see, so my opinion, my opinion to the young people, make a strategy, build capacity for leadership, lead the policy, mm -hmm. read the standard laws, read the principle, learn the art. Mm -hmm. That is how leadership is taken and believe in God, most ultimately. Yes, yes sure. We are with uh, uh, Sanjuken, uh, it's called SK, SK Kajuang, here on a youth road show about uh, his journey on leadership. He is the president of Mount Kenya University. Uh, we are taking a short break, and then we'll be back. And when we're back, it is, uh, we are nearing the electioneering period once again. I think we'll speak uh, a little about that, then we'll be calling it a show. For now, keep tweeting at Rafula and Skipwito. 
uh, also YouTube is uh, Sarquinto, uh, Facebook is uh, Sarquinto, that is where the conversation is flowing. You have any question for Mr. President here? Let the questions keep coming. This is the Ethereum Show, we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> back to the youth Road show and uh, just to remind you that it is the best youth platform where youths are airing their issues and where the issues of youths are looked into to ensure that the tomorrow of every youth becomes better than it will be without this youth uh, show. My name is Sakunto and uh, here on the broadcast I am with uh, as Sanju Kem, the president of Mount Kenya University, we are discussing matters leadership. By the way, youths are leaders of today. You are already a leader. Don't let somebody tell you that you are a leader of tomorrow. No, that is not true. You are already a leader. And we are engaging him just in case you have any question outside there. Don't shy off. Just tweet like a full underscore Quinto, YouTube with Quinto, then also Facebook. It is a window where the conversation is uh, flowing. Welcome back, sir, to the broadcast. Thank you. Uh, where we had left, we had left uh, now from leadership, now from your story. Just uh, a little step. Who has motivated you, or who is your role model in matters leadership? Okay, I have I have a number of uh, mentors. Mm -hmm. Do you know what mentors contribute to the life of? A person is tremendous. Mm. So my, my mentor is is Barack Hussein Obama. I like Barack Obama because of his oral prowess and the contribution that he made to the people of America. And leadership is always a matter of what did you contribute in your time? What did you contribute in your tenure? How many people did you help secure employment? What did you do with the economy? These are the kind of issues that we should be asking. So I don't just follow people, or I don't just make people mentors for the purpose of having the so-called mentor of SK Kajua. I make my people mentor because of the things that they attribute to the life of the people. And therefore, Barack Obama is my mentor. <laughs> we are now nearing the electioneering period at the university level. Are there people who have already approached you they are seeking endorsement? No, I don't endorse anybody. You because endorse. I was not endorsed by anybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, are I, there those who have already... Uh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. They are there. People will venture to the political ground mm -hmm. to tussle with their competitors. Mm -hmm. But I believe in competitive tusslement. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in endorsement. Mm -hmm. Because what, what is the value of endorsing a person? What I do, I believe in the contribution and effort that young people have mm -hmm. to offer to the society. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if I endorse someone today, mm -hmm. it will be a project of SK Kajua. I will not have mentored that person. But there are good things you've done that uh, th that person will now carry on. What I usually tell all of them, uh -huh. because all of them are my mentees and they come for political advices, uh -huh. because I'm politically wise. Uh -huh. They come for advices. What I tell them, these people, is build capacity for this office. Because mm -hmm. this office comes with a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. that you will be serving and representing over 50,000 comrades in the country and all of them are expecting mm -hmm. from you value of course of leadership. Mm -hmm. And therefore all of them, I just urge all of them to build capacity for that. Don't expect any endorsement because I was not endorsed by anyone. Mm -hmm. I fought my way up. Mm -hmm. And just like even the president of Kenya, William Samuel Ruto, fought his way up. Mm -hmm. He climbed the ladder from one staircase to the other. Mm -hmm. Even the right honorable Raila Odinga, despite the fact that many people will claim that he comes from a family of dynasties. Mm -hmm. But he was in prison, mm -hmm. he was jailed yes. for fighting for the rights of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. So everyone, of course, in this journey of politics, comes with a lot of responsibility and you're gonna put a lot of commitment and effort mm -hmm. for you to get that seat. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have leadership and we have education. So how have you been balancing education and leadership? Very good. That is a good question that uh, most people don't find it easy to answer. Mm. 
But myself, myself, I'm disciplined. I'm a disciplined guy. Mm. Disciplines come first. The moment you appreciate your discipline, mm. factor and basis in you, that is when you will appreciate everything and you do it in a disciplined manner. Mm. Everything comes, nothing comes easy. Nothing comes on a silver plant. Mm. And therefore, the main objective of myself coming to MKU was to acquire my degree. Mm. And therefore, I'm pursuing it with unparalleled focus. That mm. is my distinction number one. Mm. Number two is leadership. So how do I do the two? How do I tussle the two? The judgment is that the two must be on the point of equilibrium. No point where leadership is much loaded and no point where education is much loaded. I give them equal time. I give them equal time. Yes. So how do you do this? On, on, on education wise, I, I take five hours every night mm. to read for my coursework. During the day, I do my leadership role. So it is just simple as one plus one. Uh, after finishing or after the tenure of, the, of your regime now, after it has come to, 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 to end at NKU, and after you, you, you now acquire your degree, where should we expect now, SK? Should we expect you now in national politics or you are bidding goodbye to politics? Very good. Metamorphosis paradigm shift. <laughs> yes. Leadership is splendorous. Uh -huh. So I believe in leadership and my contribution mm -hmm. to the people here. Mm -hmm. That is the same thing that is going to give me a paradigm shift outside of there. Mm -hmm. So immediately after here, you'll be hearing SK Kajuang now on the national level. You're waiting for that. Serving comrades and serving constituents mm -hmm. in certain places in the nation. Now, Kenya. Who is this leader that you, I can say you are looking, you, are, you want to be like, or you can say he's your role model in Kenya? In Kenya? Yes. My role model in Kenya is Raila Amolodinga. Uh -huh. Raila Amolodinga because mm -hmm. of instinctive contributions that he has made, both instinctive and distinct mm -hmm. contributions that he has made to the nation. Mm -hmm. Many people can say ill about Raila Amolodinga. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter shall remain that is the liberator. He liberated for both the economic and political aspects of this nation. Mm -hmm. Number two, he fought for the freedom of multi-party democracy in this nation. So I am celebrating and I'm emulating a person who I know that he has made immense contribution towards the establishment of a new criterion of running a society that is not being run to oblivion, but to political discovery of what is Kenya. Now we are talking about the economic integration. You've, you've heard him from time to time advising Kenyans and even advising the government in place on what to do. And the problem that we have as a nation is mm. we have been engulfed with this idea of you are pro that, I am pro this. So the ally from this island, that isle, they cannot come to an equilibrium point where we can agree and say these policies to be adopted. <laughs> we cannot adopt these policies because they entrench a certain value and political policies, political, both political and economic policies that do not favor the, 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 the nation. And therefore, I think it is just an endeavor of we, the young people, changing the narrative. You've heard me a number of times talking about the young people. Because I know it is only the young people who are the beacon of hope. They carry a lot of excellence, both in ideas and in practicality. So the young people really have to press a reboot button, to wake up from their slumber, to wake up from their folding of hands, to tighten their belts to really work out what this nation requires. We the young people, we are the beacon of hope for this generation. And therefore, we should not be shrouded with, with, with a lot of quantitative assumptions that we are fed with every other day. Because we have to realize ourselves and actualize our visions. As I've always said, that I'm a man on a mission to fight for your vision.
And you as well, you can be a man on a mission or a woman on a mission to fight for the vision of yourself and the young generations to come. And lastly, lastly, young people should never be treated the same, but should always be treated uniquely on the value that they bring to the table. Because you can only be on the dinner table as a diner or as food to be eaten. So we the young people should put our foot forward towards ensuring that we be the people who are preparing that food in the kitchen so that we can bring the communities together, the societies together, so that we can dine as equals. And that is the contribution that I bring as president of unity, imperativeness, and resonance towards building a sustainable nation where no one is treated on the basis of where you come from, the tribe that you belong to, but on the basis of the value that you bring to the table today. Let's build one nation, let's build one people, let us live together as Kenyans. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for your time here Thank on the Youth Fruit Show. I'm much humbled to have you. Thank you so much, uh, dear audience, for watching from wherever you've been watching from. Ensure you subscribe, you like, you share this video so that we can empower more youth. There is a chain of uh, people behind the camera that can ensure the success of this conversation and of this interview. Uh, we have this uh, big guy, big person called God. God has enabled us to do this production. Uh, behind the cameras we have Victor Koigi, Francis Kakai, we have Emma, uh, we have uh, over there Emily Mashipei, we have Sarah, and also we have Alice has been also behind the production, which was the successful production of this uh, youth road show. If you have any topic you want us to discuss or just uh, tweet me or uh, send me an email of fullerquinto77 at gmail.com or reach me uh, using my WhatsApp or using Facebook, you can comment, then tell me that uh, topic that you, or you want us to discuss on and we'll be calling here. Also, if you want to be featured on this program, you can just speak to me, then I'll be giving you the opportunity to be featured here on this platform that we are empowering youth for a better future. I want to say goodbye for now. Let's meet next time when we'll be having this. Goodbye for now.